although we already had a significant growth in the last three years, coming from 120,000 ounces last year, 204,000 ounces, this year we should be producing between 255 to 295,000 ounces. We still have significant project to invest. is a multinational mining company that owns and operates gold and copper mines in Honduras, Brazil, Mexico, and the United States. This year, Aura placed first on the TSX 30 with a share price appreciation of 1,125%. The TSX 30 is an annual list recognizing the top 30 performing TSX issuers over a three-year period. Aura's success today is due in part to two main developments in recent years. In late 2017, Aura entered into an agreement to acquire a company called Rio Novo Gold. The deal was designed to combine and create a strong portfolio of mining companies with a long-term production life. In 2018, Aura achieved commercial production from its Aranzazu after being inactive for four years, and in 2020 doubled its production and reduced its cash cost by half in comparison to last year before the interruption in 2014. Uh, we were accessing too much of the, the banks and relationship in North America and not creating relationship with the countries that we already operate. So we significantly invested in developing relationship in Brazil, Mexico, Honduras, and then we could then push down the debt that was at the cost of 12 to 14 percent. Now we are five to six percent plus the tax yield. Aura continues to deploy capital and invest in existing projects so it can continue growing over the many years ahead. Construction at the company's 100% owned Almas Gold Mine in Brazil is scheduled to start in the fourth quarter of 2021. Management is modeling a net present value of 260 million US, assuming gold prices of 1800 an ounce, an unlevered internal rate of return of 57%, and an NPV capex ratio of 3.6 times. We also have Matupa, which uh, we are now developing uh, to start construction by the end of next year and producing by the end of 2023. That's on the top of Brownfield expansion. So we just recently increased 30% of capacity of Aranzazu, which will come, it's already producing and the results will be fully already accounted the second semester and fully next year. Higher grades in Brazil, in Apoena, the EPP mine that we operate, that's coming in next year and also a better recovery rates uh, in Honduras. Aura expects to achieve a production level of more than 400,000 ounces by 2024, while simultaneously maintaining a low level of leverage. By comparison, the company produced around 200,000 ounces in 2020. Aura has a policy of returning at least 20% of EBITDA minus recurring capital expenditures on an annual basis. In 2021, Aura had extra cash and paid above its policy, reaching an 8.3% of dividend yield. We are very focused while we are delegating more decisions to our, our local managers, working very much on the ethics, uh, how we are making those decisions. <laughs>